I am God, who made all my wonderful works to be remembered. I am God, and my glory thundered. I am invisible, yet all of creation speaks of me. I am the Holy Spirit that moved upon the deep. I am God. I want you to know and understand me. I am Emmanuel, God dwelling among you. I am God, and all that is in heaven and in earth is mine. I am the light of the world. I am he before whom every knee will bow. Dust clouds and dirt clods. Piles of shapeless dirt, unknown, unseen. But I, I hear their stories. I see their potential. I take the lumps. I take the mess. I take the dirt. With these, I write the story. That mess is part of every curve and every angle. Pushing, cutting, stretching, and shaping. Round and round and round again until each atom is where I want it. Molding together purpose. When you only see the dirt, I see the beauty. When you can only see the clay, I envision the future. You, each one of you carries a piece of my heart. My dreams are etched into your surface. When people look at you, they will see me. Solitude with God repairs the damage done by the fret and noise and clamor of the world. To have been on the mount with God means that we carry with us an exhilaration, an incommunicable awe. Jesus, thank you for mommy, daddy, that gave me everyone, Lord, my baby sister. Thank you for all of us, Lord. Thank you for my whole family today. Thank you for tea, ready. Bless our hey, Lord. Silas? Yes? What are you doing? Praying. Okay. Why are you praying? Because God is always listening to my prayers. Right, Mom? 
<laughs> That's right. God is always listening. to go to the bathroom. God is bigger than you ever can imagine. I mean, he can still fit in this classroom. Maybe like a house or something. God is bigger in my ear and my nose and in my mouth and my eyeball. And my foot. God is bigger than me. And that's big. Really big. God loves me big time. <laughs> I do have muscles, but... God, God's muscles are bigger. Not by much. He's bigger than anything, by the way. He's everywhere, and I'm standing on him right now. God has to build a big house. Heaven is really big. I have six people in my family. He's even bigger than a giant. I don't know about anything about strong stuff. Yes, huge. God is huge. God is huge. It's been said that if you stand on a mountain on a dark night, you can see a candle flame flickering 30 miles away. No telescope, just your natural, God-given eyesight. It reminds me of how creative and powerful God is. He created it all, even me. We are all made in His own image, and we can have a relationship with Him. Not only has God given me these eyes to see that candle so far away and the beauty of His creation, He has given each one of us the opportunity to have a relationship with Him. Now that's amazing. We all find ourselves in situations that can cause us to despair, where the darkness surrounds us and the light seems far away. We find temporary solace by seeking relief in relationships, in our work, or material things. But still, the darkness lingers. 
Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has God forgotten to be merciful? I thought of the former days, the days of long ago. I remembered the songs in the night. Then I thought, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. Your ways, God, are holy. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people. When we make God's character the center of our focus and not our circumstances, we can find hope in the midst of our darkness. You hurled me into the depths, into the very heart of the seas. The currents swirled about me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. The engulfing waters threatened me, and the deep surrounded me. But you, Lord my God, brought my life up from the pit. To your holy temple. With shouts of grateful praise, I will say, salvation comes from the Lord.